it looks like an ordinary day in the USA, but in the city of Flint, Michigan, all is excitement, even the small fry are buzzing. And the older boys and girls are let out of school. Oh, this is a day. The whole town's a bustle. Yes, sirree, there's going to be a parade, too. And what's a parade without festive bunting and gala decorations? And bands. So the boys with the tall shakos practice their strut. And all over town, the final touches are put on sleek and shiny floats. For this parade is going to be a mile long. And some of the out-of-town floats have to be hustled over the road to make it on time. And in the town auditorium, a troupe of Broadway and Hollywood artists feverishly polish their song and dance routines, symbolizing the teamwork and progress of GM people everywhere. For their show is to be played to a standout audience of very important guests, hundreds of guests, many of whom will arrive in Flint on a train pulled by a glistening diesel, a golden engine for a golden day. Yes, sir, there's excitement from coast to coast on this day. Everywhere, General Motors people are at work. For today in the USA, the entire GM family is playing host. With open house at every plant. For this is a special day. A once in a lifetime day. A day of achievement for the whole USA. For on this day, General Motors is building its 50 millionth car. No one has ever come close to that before. So no wonder celebration is in the very air. The bunting and decorations are up. The floats are almost ready. The red carpets are out. The signs of welcome are proudly displayed. Mothers are bringing the children to town. For on this day of days, parking is no problem. For Buick has provided a stomping ground for the cowboy and diaper set. And Buick's general manager, Ivan Wiles, drops in. And now on the Chevrolet production line, an historic event is about to occur. With some of its millions of predecessors marching before, and the first of more millions following behind, a golden chassis arrives at the body drop. Mark you well this day in American progress, for the scurrying clock of history is striking 10 this Tuesday morning of November 23rd, 1954. As down from aloft swings the golden body of a car that's been 46 years in the making. A car that marks a proud feat of the teamwork of American productive achievement. Unmatched anywhere at any time. The manufacture by the people of one company of 50 million motor cars. This is achievement. Achievement by a great nation, by the 160 million free people of that nation. For to the cooperative efforts of the men and women of General Motors working together must be added the work of the countless thousands who supply GM, and the countless tens of thousands who supply them, and the thousands of dealers and salesmen and servicemen who sell and care for GM products, and the investors who entrust savings and earnings to GM, and the millions upon millions of customers whose confidence also has helped make possible this day and this event. So with pride shared by every GM man and woman everywhere, Chevrolet's general manager, T.H. Keating, marks the occasion with General Motors president, Harlow H. Curtis. Mr. Curtis, it is a real...
history. It was the vision of a bare handful of men here in Flint that, lost, that launched General Motors in 1908. The automobile industry was a struggling infant at that time. In other automobile companies, the same vision existed. Vision of the automobile both as an essential means of transportation and as a creator of jobs. The result is a day. The entire GM line is represented here. Glistening new models of the famous five that make automotive history every day. GMC truck and coach with surging power for the wheels of progress. Electromotive with the revolutionary power for the wheels of steel that put new life in the old iron horse. Fisher body that's led a parade of beauty from the days of demure Miss 1908 to modern as tomorrow Miss 1955. UAW CIO representing more than 300,000 members of the mighty GMT. AC spark plug, as if you couldn't tell, and Sparky, and Sludgy, who all work together, too, to make this nation strong. And here's General Motors Institute that helps train men and women to carry on the tradition of achievement, and Turnstead that puts GM's hardware out in front. And, of course, little did they dream it, here is the very first GM car, the 1908 Cadillac that started the biggest parade of industrial products in all history. And GM's Million, a 1919 Oldsmobile. And the Five Million, a Pontiac from way back in 1926. And the Ten Million, a Buick of only three years later, 1929. And the Twenty-Five Million, a Chevrolet of only yesterday, 1940. Oh, it's a great day, all right. A salute to Mr. and Mrs. America, to all of us Americans, who, as one people, have pioneered and protected the way of life that is the USA, whose courage, confidence, and cooperative accomplishments are proudly symbolized here today by this unparalleled achievement that marks a milestone of progress pointing the way towards still greater things for all of us everywhere to share.